right. This one is external uh, CD player to import, and this is my iPhone, so I can transfer the music to it. Right. Okay, today uh, I want to show some of my friends how to rip the CD um, to MP3 using um, iTunes. So, I got the Beatles right here, um, and this is the external hard drive. Not hard drive, but it's a CD. Okay. So it's a USB CD. So I'm gonna put it in here. All right. So collect all your uh, Beatles or whatever uh, you you want to convert from CD to MP3. Okay. So now I'm gonna use screen capture. Okay. It doesn't matter if you use Windows or Mac, uh, iTunes are the same, okay? We need to set up preference, right? Import setting right here, okay? Ask to import CD, import setting. Now, import using AAC encoder, no. You want to use MP3 encoder. So, uh, high quality is 100. And 60 kilobit per second so I think that's fine okay this is very important right here so you want to to import it into the mp3 and not AAC automatically retrieve tracks then from the internet make sure your internet is on alright alright so okay now reading now all right would you like to import this too yes all right so we can find out where the this one is so this one is going to be in music, iTunes Media, music, and the Beatles. So here you have Beatle this one. Okay. Now You can find out where you put it is preference. So the I2 meter photo location is going to be in whatever is here. See that? You can change it if you like to a different folder. But normally you just put in the music folder under iTunes so it's easy to find. Alright? Is importing the uh, the other CD? Uh, we can click here, which is music, and then we can create a playlist. All right. So what we're gonna do? New. I don't know why I was standing there for a while. And you want to create a playlist. Now, what's the name of the playlist? I'm gonna. Since I'm gonna share the whole music library with the kid, so I'm gonna make a playlist called Daddy. Okay? So it's only my music in it. So not their stuff. Okay? So now you see right here, it's Daddy. So now I'm gonna add to Daddy what song I want right 
the Beatles. Right? But I don't want all of these songs. Some songs I like and some songs I don't. So I like back in the USSR. I can drag it over. So my playlist is there. I like this one. Well, actually, I only like those two songs. This is a White Album 1. That was about White Album 2. Mother, Mother Nature's Son. I like this song. Okay. So I'm going to drag it over. And some, everybody's got something to hide. I like this one too. Okay. So just say, I have four songs in here. Just an example on what you want to put on, on your uh, playlist. So I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in the uh, iPhone. You see? So it'll come up right here. iPhone. I'm not going to copy any photo. So. so the iPhone is here. So what you want to do? I'm syncing my stuff. Wait until it's done. All right. So now music. Okay. So when you want to sync music, you want to make sure that the entire music library select the playlist okay include music video if you want or include voice memo if you want but selected playlist artist album and want to sync daddy with it see it right here so I have the playlist daddy's already there so I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna hit apply you see all the songs coming over alright so now if I look into my iPhone here the iPhone music I have daddy and I have Xmas see that that's how you transfer uh, songs to iPhone so what happened if you don't want to sing the playlist over, you want to add the song into the iPhone. So now you click here music. So you click add to, okay? So now this is on the right hand side, this one is the iPhone music right hand side is the music library so now let's open this up so all you need to do is say now I decided to like Helter Skelter I want to drag it over okay where's Helter Skelter at right there so if you look inside your iPhone you will see how to skelter 
All right. But this one will not be in the playlist. So now if you look, uh, so that's why playlist is much better. But anyway, so this is music of the iPhone. So daddy does not have that one in there. All right. The one we just added. But you will have a Helter Skelter in there. Sitting by itself. No playlist associated with that song. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so what happened? If I have a backup uh, MP3 for my daughter from a different hard drive, and it's not in the um, iTunes library. So how do I add them into the li iTunes library? So let's click to my music, right? So here's what we do. Add to library. So what do you want to add? Audi MP3 is here. Okay. So I want to get to add a song. Okay. Just click there and open. So the song will go into the library. Or we can also add the whole directory the whole directory right so six fifty four songs is going to go in there the library. Now the question is if you go into the iTunes music iTunes media music wow they copy everything over So, that's how you add music from a different device into the library so you can transfer to your iPod or iPhone or whatever.